Pushing 70, staying healthy, the importance of great health. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. Well, you know I'm all about great health. I'm all about taking care of our bodies. And as you all know, I'm all about pushing 70. I am 65, turning 66 here in about two weeks. Rounded off means 70. So pushing 70. So that's kind of my new theme is to push 70. Talking about pushing 70 because, well, I am pushing 70. And I want to share my journey with you all. And I want to talk about openly about subjects that... A lot of people in our age group don't have a place to talk about. And so what it's like to push 70 for me. Well, as you all know, I'm very much into health and fitness and I, um, I have uh, fitness. My exercise routine is about a total of four hours per day, not recommending that to anyone. It's just what I do. I eat very, very healthy, although when we go out to restaurants or to friends' houses, I pretty much eat what I want. But the rest of the time, I'm an intermittent faster, and which means usually I'll have one meal per day, and or as sometimes I say it, I only eat when we go out to restaurants, <laughs> which is sometimes true. And yet, I eat very, very meticulously and healthy at home. I only take a few supplements, and they're kind of very the more standard supplements like oregano and garlic and turmeric and ones like that. And um, I keep a very positive attitude. But this is the thing I think is most important that we stay healthy um, as we get older. Will things need to be fixed as we get older? Um, it could be. You know, the older we get, the more likely that we're going to need, you know, something done, whether it's our eyes done, whether it's our hips done, our knees done, our feet done, but not always. You know, if we take the right preventative care and we take great care of who we are, um, often we don't have to have any of those things done, okay, or at least not all of them. And people who don't take care of them themselves often find themselves having to get everything done at some point. And so I believe in taking care of my body. So for me, my workout is my work. And every day I get up after I'm rested, I make sure that I get plenty of rest. I'm drinking plenty of healthy water. I'm eating healthy. I keep a positive attitude. I don't rush. And I do the things that I love. I do the things that make me happy and less of things that I don't like to do. And so I do more of what makes me happy. I surround myself with the people that make me happy. I go to what makes where it makes me happy. And, you know, people who are tied into a job that they don't like, that exhausts them, often they're not happy. Okay, and they, they feel old, they feel tired, they feel worn out. People who are in relationships that pull them down often find themselves tired and worn out and feeling much older than what they are. Um, people that don't exercise tend to be more tired than the people who've done a full day's exercise. And um, people that don't take care of what they eat um, are not eating healthy um, often don't feel as good as people who eat healthy. And so I'm all about health. I'm all about taking care of me so that I can be around for the people that I love, so that I can be there for them. It's a very unselfish thing to do to take care of you if you love the people that you're around. It's a very selfish thing if you don't take care of you um, because you may not be around for the people you love. So if you love somebody, you want to be around for them in the best of ways. And that means taking care of your body. That means taking care of you. Okay? Well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.